Hey Clash fans, this is Trample Damage coming to you today with the third and final day of the final three days of Legend League. I have, haven't made any attacks so far today. I've taken five attacks for 112 trophies lost, which is, eh, 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 we'll live. All right, so jumping in right away. So we had, it would have been these eight attacks here, starting from this very friendly person from a Chinese clan that has a nine, a zero, a one, and a one. So it's one, two, three, king is four, five, six, seven, and Saeed Medis will be our eighth attack. So you can see here we got two, three stars in there, and yep, just two, that one's from the next day. So two, three stars in there, and we'll just jump on in. So. If you haven't seen the first two videos, I'm probably going to put a link somewhere in the upper right hand corner telling you how to find those videos because my YouTube skills are still rudimentary but good enough to put a link in there. So this attack here, I thought these walls were going to give me a nice uh, assist on funneling. So I figured if I could take out this, I needed my baby dragon to be out of range of these things, which meant really going for one of these exterior buildings. So I figured, you know, start on the outside be able to move into the middle. Archer, oh, sorry, Barbarian King coming in to go fight, 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 fight. It's just a, it's a dude fight. They're just punching each other. And we got the Wall Wrecker in there behind the Ice Golem heading toward the Town Hall. And there's a spoiler alert here. We don't even get the Town Hall, which is always a bummer. So Lava Hound comes out, poison for those archers. And of course, the Archer Queen is gonna spend a long time shooting the flying tank. And eventually she'll destroy that. And the Town Hall will become active again, along with that grounded X-Bow with a beautifully long targeted range, just barely clipping that Archer Queen. And she's trying to fight off a whole legion of Lava Pups, and that Town Hall says, you don't need any archers to help protect you, and she's dead. And so at this point, I was thinking, salvage the two-star, which I know everybody has had a situation like this before, because there's really nothing. I think I got... There might have been there's one Tesla right there that we took out. Not a single other defense has been taken down. So and it's just this box of defenses. So I already knew coming in it's gonna be a, a bad thing. So just figured hit the town hall, bring in the Grand Warden, Eternal Tome, it'll get the Giga Tesla, and then they split. So I've got one batch of hogs over here, a smaller batch of hogs over here. And I use a heal spell on the right side. I probably wasted that heal spell on the left. And then I went back in with another heal spell over here and just tried riding that one all the way to hoping I would get two stars. Go into four times speed here for a couple of skeletons, my skeleton army running around there. Some wizards banging away, archers shooting, and ultimately not exactly the most impressive attack. And we got an archer chilling up there trying to wreck an elixir collector. So first attack of the day, I wasn't super excited. I was not wildly impressed with that. But it is what it is. We're learning as we go here. And this is Shandy Aksha, who has a ring base, which is normally a problem for this army. I have yet to figure out the exact composition, but learn from my mistakes, and maybe you come up with the right way. The nice thing down here is the clan castle, the archer queen, and the eagle artillery all conveniently located on the perimeter. A single layer of buildings on the outside is great for funneling your heroes because you can just dump them in, get one thing, and then we head to go get the queen. Balloon taking that bomb for the baby dragon. Ice Golem comes in. Queen comes in. Stupid flying tank comes out of the clan castle. And we do get a reasonable penetration here. The hero charge kill squad does wind up taking down the clan castle troops and the archer tower, or the uh, archer queen, the enemy archer queen, and when my archer queen gets in there and uses her eternal tome, she manages, her eternal tome, her royal cloak, she manages to get that eagle artillery. So here's where, one, two, three, I, I'm trying to figure out the right blend here, and I'm learning, I think the Grand Warden has to go in with this initial kill squad. I think that the benefit of the extra hit points they get is too strong, and what I did is I saved 10 hog riders to get the town hall with the eagle artillery, I mean, with the Grand Warden. So the idea here is, you know, these hogs are going to take care of the whole base by themselves, and then Skeleton Spell managed to get in there and turn on the town hall, and then once enough 
stuff was removed up here, then I could send in my remaining 10 hog riders with my Grand Warden and take out the town hall. The problem is I just don't get as much mileage out of the initial wave of hog riders without the Grand Warden. So I think I need to figure out maybe it's 12, maybe it's 13, maybe it's 14. The problem is with a tornado trap in the middle, slowing my hogs and spinning them, it might be too problematic to to not to have the Grand Warden ability, but I gotta just tinker and try it and see what happens. But I'm almost positive that the Grand Warden needs to go in with the initial wave of Hog Riders because I just don't get enough out of them even behind those three heal spells. They just don't move quickly enough with all that uh, that damage that they're taking. So again, a two star to start the day, second one in a row. I wasn't thrilled with it because remember this was the final day of Legend League and I was really trying to push to get myself into the I was hoping for top 200 in the U.S., which I finished 92 in the U.S. And if I remember, I'll drop a picture in there showing a nice screenshot of me finishing with my trophy count. And then you can see right here, I finished at 56.62. So hopefully I just put a picture on there that showed me at 56.62 in 92nd place. And that is indeed where I finished out. But only because I was picking an easier comparison of the U.S. where there are, are not the world of, of players. So this person here barely got my two star again. Ring bases, again, I need to figure this out. Couple ground expos, really great for these bases to be able to put some pressure on the wall wrecker and a hero charge in the beginning. Again, single row of defenses on the outside is nicer for hero funneling, but for some reason I still decided that I didn't trust my hero funneling skills and I put a wizard on here that the Barbarian King destroys the drill and then goes the direction that I wanted him to, but maybe if I hadn't put the wizard there, he would have come back this direction. I don't know. Maybe my instincts were right. So we got a balloon in there for the baby dragon. Wall Wrecker. Actually, I was feeling pretty good about this hero charge because my Wall Wrecker got more penetration than I was expecting, and we managed to take out a lot of this stuff down here. So of course the queen shooting her favorite troop, the Lava Hound, takes out the pups, and this is one time where I would have rather have probably had five Valkyries in the clan castle, but can't change it midstream. It is what it is. So I got a good decent chunk of the defenses down on the outside here. And at this point, I would either come in here with the Hog Riders or do what I did, which is come in up here because I have a narrower gap. Over here, if you look at the line of defenses, the mortar stretches down to this archer tower. It's a wider range. Up here, it's just the mortar and the wizard tower, so I thought oh, I could pound through here, get all this stuff taken down, and then send in some hog riders here with maybe a skeleton spell to be able to turn the town hall active. So I sent in a bunch of hog riders again, still trying to learn as I go, figuring out the right approach. Oh, I forgot that the, uh, the archer queen got the air sweeper and the crossbow taken care of there. I do think that the Grand Warden needs to come in with that initial push. I try healing, ended up dumping with these Hog Riders. You can use a Skeleton spell. You can, Both of them went down already. As long as the Inferno Towers are not both going to be targeting all your Skeletons, you have a shot to get them to turn it on, which they did here. And then I said, please let me get two stars. I don't want to get zero. And I barely managed to get in there to get enough of the defenses down so that my cleanup wizards could get enough buildings to get me over the hump and get me to the 56% archer, putting in some work on the army camp out there. A little Tesla farm down here, yikes. Ring bases, giving me some trouble. So that was the first three attacks of this day. And no disrespect to other YouTubers who only show their really great attacks that they make, but I think everybody as a team, as a global community, we could learn more about how to do some of these things. And and honestly, I want a challenge, right? I don't want to just do well because I'm fighting against people that have weaker bases or have bad attacking skills. Like, I like a challenge. That's what I like about tight clan wars. So this one here, I, I'm going to say I got a little lucky on this. I thought maybe I'll be able to get the clan castle triggered, but if not, maybe since I'm rocking lava hounds all day, I'll be lucky and my skeleton spells and some poison in the middle there can take care of the archer queen in the clan castle. But for now, I see these orange walls and I get excited because I think my wall wrecker is going to get in there real quickly. Single line of defenses on the outside, easy for hero funneling. Ooh, two times speed. Here comes a balloon and a baby dragon. Four, three, there we go. Speed one. So wall wrecker comes in, no problem. Queen takes out the grand warden right away, which is really nice because that dude deals a ton of damage per second at level 40. Got an ice golem in there. Got another ice golem in there. Pekka says, I'm going to go kill that enemy king. Actually, not a bad start. Ice golems doing their thing, getting frozen, freezing stuff. 
Grand War, I mean, uh, Barbarian King and Archer Queen popping away, taking out some stuff. Archer Queen heads back out to take care of some skeleton spells, and she goes for the elixir storage and some hidden Teslas, and then that sort of peters out. And I was thinking, she's so close, she's going to step in there, and she's going to, boom, no. So, at this point, I could come in over here, but it's a lot of ground to cover and only one Archer Tower. And this is where you got to think on the fly and you got to be thinking about where you're going to go as the attack is happening because I've had a couple time fails myself and so have a couple other people I've been talking to on this attack. Over here, it's a little bit of a tighter line of defenses, so my hog riders are going to come in nicely into this bunch here. Only point where they'll start splitting is when the next logical targets are these defenses right here, but that brings them right in toward the eagle, which I wasn't going to be upset about that. So cue the hog riders. Hogs. You'll see a little pause there as I think about which direction to come in. So the town hall is down, and I normally use the Grand Warden's ability, the Eternal Tome, to protect from the first round of Eagle Artillery, but clearly I wasn't having it. I didn't wind up doing that. Here comes a Baby Dragon and a Lava Hound, and maybe because I was just so focused on that stuff. Poison Spell for that Baby Dragon, and... Where my skeleton? I already dropped my skeleton. There they are. I knew they weren't right. Skeleton spells in there as well. So the skeleton spells were for two reasons. One, that they'd hopefully be able to get this archer queen if she wasn't hiding behind a wall, which she was in that moment. And they'd be able to keep the baby dragon distracted as the poison spell goes to work on them. So the baby dragon is trying to catch my skeletons and baby dragon eventually dies. A couple of well-placed heal spells and... They, I didn't have what I felt like was enough coming into this final compartment over here, but they are beautiful Max Hogs. We love you, Hog Riders. And you see already the wizards over here, my cleanup troops. Got to make sure you place those early on, otherwise you run a greater risk of a time fail. And that hog, that uh, lava hound chasing the Hog Riders, looking really stupid, dealing his eight damage per second or fourteen, whatever it is, <laughs> Max Hog, Max Lava Hound deals. So that's the first half of the attacks, and I actually have time before I have to continue adulting here, where we'll take a look at one more good attack against, I don't even know how to pronounce that, and I apologize, I only speak English, and I could use to be more worldly. So this is like the Holy Grail, right? Got Archer Queen, Clan Castle, Town Hall, all in the corner. Easy, easy, our air quotes there. Easy approach, it's a logical thing to do. Poison spell for the clan castle. Fortunately, it was not a lava hound soaking up a ton of hit points from the archer queen. The in single target inferno tower does make short work of my wall wrecker and my ice golem and my pekka. But I got all the stuff that I needed first, which is the clan castle troops, the town hall, and the archer queen. Ideally, I could have gotten the eagle artillery too, but that didn't happen. So at this point... I was thinking, my Archer Queen's already on this side, I should probably come in over here. It's a somewhat of a shorter distance between this Archer Tower and this air defense versus what's over here of a bunch more defenses. And plus I figured my Archer Queen's over there, she can give some air cover, but then she dies shortly after, but it's okay. So Grand Warden coming in behind the Hog Riders, Eternal Tome on the first pound of the Eagle, and heal spell nicely into there. Always try and hang on to heal spells for when you get into the Inferno Tower ranges. That's when I've noticed, like, I find myself regretting that I didn't have one, particularly if there's a wizard tower near the eagle, near the Inferno Tower. But if you wind up thinking about it, try and plan the heals around the Inferno Towers where possible. That would have been a, a, a battle-ending corner right there with that bomb tower and wizard tower and Inferno Tower. But as normal, wizard's already down, trying to do some cleanup down here. Hogs pounding stuff out. It worked. And I'll take it. So I'm going to go adult for now, and then I'll come back later with the other three videos, which, as you could see already when we were glancing through that beautiful war log, or war log, that beautiful attack log, I had ooh, a barely two-star, and then an 80% and a 92% to close out the day against Saeed Medis. So come back in a bit with those, and then we'll wrap this up. <laughs> Okay, so we got three left. I almost made another attack and then recorded over this because it'll fall off my attack log. So I'm going to get this one in quick. It was our barely two stars against Steelers for our sixth attack of the day. So this one, the ring base, which I'm having a lot of trouble working out actually in today's attacks, which is the second day into this current Legend League. I just one starred this base. I really need to copy it and then practice it. So I've been coming in a similar effort here. I 
create a funnel on one side with the baby dragon, the balloon, try to get the king in. I've actually been coming up a little bit more. Pause. Ooh. I have been trying to come in up on this side a little bit more, right at the clan castle, to try and get some penetration and clear out this corner. And this last one, I just failed to even get to the town hall. But we'll save that for another day. Town hall. Uh, I don't even get close. You know, balloons blowing up my barbarian king and lava pound blows up and pups blow up my barbarian king and never made it in and at this point i said okay hog riders small troop i left 10 of them available and figure this is how we're going to do this they're going to clear all that stuff out with some heal spells but okay, heal spells didn't really do enough and now that that side was clear enough that the closest defenses would be the town hall i did get some skeleton spells engaged there to turn that to fight mode sent in some hogs i'll be honest the day that i made this attack i was getting wasted by these ring bases so i was considering myself lucky with the two star i just need to practice these i need to build some of these types of bases and practice them over and over again until i know how to wreck them consistently in the meantime i'm probably going to keep struggling with mid-range two stars and you won't learn a lot here from me on these bases for now but it is what it is all right, jumping over to attack number seven for the day where we had a nice solid 80% two-star. I'm not going to whine too bad about that, although I always want the three. Nice exposed town hall. I failed to get the town hall in this one. Just kidding. I still got the town hall, but I'm thinking very, very aggressively. How do I attack this base? What should I do? It's one thing about these exposed town halls. I never wind up missing the town hall because the only goal for the kill squad is to get the town hall, so... King in, got a balloon and a nice golem behind that dragon. Wrecker, I considered part of my thought process was make it the stone slammer. Then I thought, what if the stone slammer goes uh, the wrong way and drops my P.E.K.K.A. somewhere that it doesn't want to come back, and then I missed the town hall. So I just went ahead and said, screw it. Treat it like it's an old-fashioned clan castle, and I dumped my troops, and we broke the town hall. And then I was dealing with a square, a square that wasn't going to give me a whole lot of love because I barely made it past that corner i really got nothing but the town hall and then decided all right we got this hog riders let's just go ahead and charge in i think i'm two days ago now so i'm trying to remember yep top side just a line of hog riders put the warden in behind some of them up on the top side went ahead and protected on the way in with the eternal tome i raged them and i should have put a heel over on this side a little sooner to keep those guys alive but instead i waited until most of them were dead before i put the heel spell in there i think if i had dropped that heel much earlier i this could have easily been a three star because i did get some good penetration going in four times speed now i just ran out of gas and it didn't wind up working for me cleanup troops are somewhat irrelevant aside from just trying to punch in a few more points of extra damage to squeeze out a few more trophies where i can round things up Ooh, and i did a spreadsheet one day to see exactly how much percent you need to get uh, additional trophies and uh, is this the one where i forgot to drop archers no one of these attacks i forgot to drop archers so i waited the whole time i have no idea somebody's shooting something there it is that archer shooting good job nice try now for our final attack of the final day of Legend League, I decided I wanted to bring it home real strong with a three star, but instead I got 30 trophies, which was not horribly disrespectful, but Saeed Mehdi said, you will not three star my base. Nice exposed town hall on the outside. Went ahead and did the same nonsense of coming straight at the bad boy, but this time I said I'm going to bring a stone slammer. Put my king in there, he gets eaten by the tornado trap and a hundred thousand skeletons, and then I switch my mind from a stone slammer back to a wall wrecker, and my kill squad again didn't get very far into the base, and I'm kind of dealing with a square, and dealing with squares is not beautiful, but I did get the town hall, I mean the uh, clan castle troops triggered, Archer Queen managed to pop off a few shots there against the hound, and I didn't want her to actually kill it so that it could just chase my hog riders and do hardly anything. Warden protecting on the way in from the first eagle blast. Heal spells there. I hate having to do that. When I do two heal spells right next to each other, I feel like that's going to be a bad attack, but that's what happened this time. And I still have my two skeleton spells, so I just kind of dumped them. Where'd I dump them? Dumped them over here. One on that cannon. I didn't do a whole lot. And one up there to help clean up some stuff. I uh, didn't get all of the defenses down. Oh, I did. Except for that, uh, that pesky air defense. And then... With no hog riders to jump over walls, the rest of my troops were left 
banging away at the outside and then fighting a lava hound, which promptly assassinated the rest of my squad and I ran out of time. But overall, it was a reasonable day in Legend League and I'm hoping that I have a photograph of it with how I finished. I Maybe I don't. Oh no, I think I do. Uh, here you go, there's a picture. I'm saying that now, not having access to my, <laughs> not having access to my photos. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. It's three days of eight attacks. It's 24 mass, it's hog, hero charge. Hopefully you guys are learning from it and enjoying it and hitting that like button and turning the notifications on and subscribing and telling your clan mates to check out my channel and all that cool stuff. I might wind up continuing to do this into next season just because I'm having fun attacking with mass hogs and a hero charge. Maybe I'll keep recording them. Who knows? If you guys are liking it enough and commenting and letting me know that you're interested in more, that's a good cue that I'll know to make more of them. If not, then I'll probably start posting other stuff that you might be interested in. In the meantime, have a good one. Trample damage. Out.